Hey friends, welcome. If this is your first time, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Thank you so much for being here and thank you so much to my subscribers who have supported me building this channel. I am so, so very grateful. So today I wanted to bring to you a different idea for doing epoxy coasters. So you can use silicone molds for doing coasters. You have to fill your epoxy in there and, you know, thinking of, you know, finding the molds and the amount of epoxy that it might take as well as the time. I thought that this would be a really cute idea. So I've never tried it before. So I just wanted to see if it would work. So this coaster, look how cute that came out. Super, super pretty. I'll tell you, I didn't, you know, do the bottom because I was really just seeing how it would turn out. Although you can't see the bottom, so I will be using this in my room. I like it a lot. It's perfect. Um, you know, but of course, when I do these as a set, I'll do the bottoms of these. And this also fits some of the Dollar Tree glass vases. So this would also be really cute to set your vase in for decor. So that would be cute too. So this is a coaster from Ikea. So I'm gonna insert a picture. So these are two for $1.99, so basically a dollar a piece. So not bad, you would certainly use that or more in resin if you were doing this in a mold. And I did an acrylic pour on this and I used acrylic paints, that video will be attached. And once it dried, then I went in and I put my epoxy on it, which also is attached, but it's very short because it took so little epoxy, like seriously, like barely any epoxy whatsoever. Put it in, did my sides, and I did my bottom, even though I didn't, you know, fully paint that and let it dry. Super easy, super quick, very inexpensive. And I mean, what a great gift. You could make some really, really cute coasters like this. Now, I could, you know, use my Cricut, put, I could put all kinds of different things in here. I was thinking, you know, I could just paint these a solid color and then put like some flowers in here, like so many different things and without a mold and using very, very little epoxy. So this came out so awesome. I am so happy with it and I just wanted to share the idea in case you were looking to make some coasters. All right, so listen, I hope you guys have a blessed and beautiful day. Thank you so much and I will see you again. Bye. All right, so I have some paint left from a different project. So we're going to make a coaster. I love these coasters right here. This is from Ikea. It comes in like a four pack and they're either $3.99 or $4.99. Don't quote me on that. Maybe they're $1.99. I don't even remember. They're super inexpensive and these are what they look like. Okay. So I have some paint left from another project. So this is my um, pouring medium. Now that one I had made a little thick. I want this to be a little thicker. And also in the other project, I didn't put any in my black. So, and then I've also got some silicone because I'm gonna do this one different. So I'm gonna need some more silicone. All right, I'm gonna start with my black on this one. Pour it in my cup. Gonna see if you guys are 
seen. Eh, looks like it. Maybe bring it just a little bit further. Closer. I mean, closer. All right, let's see. I think I'm gonna go actually a little bit of white. And then I'm gonna go my green. And then I'm gonna go with some orange. I'm gonna put a little bit more silicone in there. Now I'm gonna go with some white. Now I'm gonna go with my blue. I love painting. It's so messy and it like makes me feel good because everything else is organized. Except my craft room right now. I'm still in the middle of doing that. Alright, so here's what I look like. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my coaster over it like that and I'm going to just dump it over like that. Clean up this mess and just let that sit for a hot second. I have a super fun tumbler on the um, turner right now. I mean, it might not be everybody's thing because it's a bullet, but it's super cute. All right, so now I want to make sure you guys see this as we're doing it. Haha, <laughs> look how cool that is. Oh, and I already see cells. Oh, oh, look at the cells inside the cup. That's cool. Now look at that. That's really, really. Actually, I think I might do this over the top like this. Look at those colors. Oh my gosh, it is so cool. Put this on my hands here. Now you can see why I'm wearing gloves. So I was expecting this to get messy. 
but man, is it going to be pretty. is super pretty. Now, I'm going to take off one Oh, I got paint in my bracelet. I need to wash that. All right. Okay. Sorry, kid proof, and I'm trying to do it with gloves. Oh, yeah. And I got to be careful because it is cork under there. So I don't want to keep it in one place for too long, nor do I want to get too, too close. Now, if you're uncomfortable, like, you know, especially with this bean cork, something like this, you could also use, um, like, one like this. You don't get quite as good of, and it definitely blows around more, you know, but you can use it. So we definitely got some cells in there. So we'll let it dry. And then once it dries, then we will um, put some epoxy on it. All right. So this guy is dry. And look how pretty it looks. Those colors just really turned out super, super cute. Now this is cork. And... I haven't done epoxy on cork before, but we'll see how it turns out. It's really cute. All right. Do you hear the frogs? Oh my gosh, I love them. So I don't feel like this should take too much epoxy at all. Now, I thought about stealing this because it's cork, but then I realized that once the paint dries, it didn't feel very porous anymore. So then, I decided that I wouldn't steal it because I just really didn't think there was a need. So you saw, I mean, that was just a teeny, tiny amount. And I think that this is going to be a really good one to use for coasters. So the reason why I wanted to try this is you know, because I have coaster molds, and I can always make coasters, but, you know, in your mold, your entire thing is epoxy, right? So, if you're thinking about saving epoxy, and these things are so inexpensive, so I'll look up the price. By the time this dries and I put the video out, I'll look up the price. I want to say that they're $1.99 for four, but that could be mistaken. But I'll take it out and look. But the thing is, 
you know, when you start, you know, looking at the price, right, and doing the math, I mean, it's cheaper. Now, I didn't take that whole back side because I wasn't thinking that I would do the whole thing. But if I was doing a set of these, I think that I would paint the back side as well. Oops, sorry. I would paint the back side as well. And then, honestly, I would probably... Um, put my epoxy on this back part first. That would make sense because then I could just hold the pen and do this part. That would make the most sense. So look how quick and easy that was. So I'm excited to see how this looks when, when it dries. Like, I um, honestly don't even imagine that it's going to need an additional coat. So if that dries nicely, then what a really inexpensive way to make some really nice coasters. And there you go, just let it dry. So that looks good, right? All right, so we will come back when it is completed.